The most important question the entire gaming industry is demanding to be answered, as everyone's sleepless nights are filled with haphazard frogmen. How exactly did Earth Defense Force 6 turn out? Well, I've been playing the Japanese version, and I'm gonna tell ya. But wait, Alex, you're unskilled, you don't know Japanese. You would be correct. When I need to play something in a different language, all I do is set up my phone like a second monitor with Google Lens Translate on, and that layers over in English, so I can make sense of all the RPG stuff in those menus. But as far as the core gameplay goes, the true reason to EDF, it's all very similar to the previous mainline game, Earth Defense Force 5. Not so much the soft reboot that came out a few years ago, Earth Defense Force Iron Rain. With this new entry and the jump to next gen, the destructibility has been improved across the board and some textures have been remodeled. But still, I promise this is running on a PlayStation 5, not five taped together PlayStation 1s. You don't play EDF for the cutting edge graphics and immersion. You play for the over the top goofy action and the pursuit of all the gun RPG collecting goodness. When EDF 6 is doing everything right, you're chewing through the new enemy types in a unique new area with some crazy new weapon, but that is not always the case. Not only are many of the weapons, enemies, and maps reused straight from EDF 5, but some of the missions themselves seem straight ripped from the last game, giving many of them a feeling of deja vu. However, if you never played EDF 5, that deja vu flaw is really a non-factor because there's a massive amount of missions and tons and tons of weapons to unlock, which will all be fresh to you. When you do come across some of that actual new stuff, it's pretty solid, and I particularly like some of the new Air Raiders gadgets, which are more drone-based, being able to send swarms of bots and missiles to do the dirty work for you. So overall, Earth Defense Force 6 is not the big feeling of brand new like Iron Rain was, but it somewhat tries to counter that with a sheer gargantuan amount of content to grind through. So that's pretty much my real quick thoughts on all of that. But let me know what you think of EDF 6, and also let me know what the best entry in this series has been. I'm Alex, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.